Hey guys, B Tier Plumbing here, and today I'm here with my 1978 yellow Kilgore Apex toilet. Uh, this lid actually does not go to this toilet, this goes to my double siphon jet yellow Kilgore Apex. Uh, I actually got this toilet out of a mobile home that was on one of my friend's properties. Uh, the whole mobile home was like basically collapsed and what I did is I looked underneath of it to see where the like the pipes were that led to the flange and once I found that I crawled underneath and pulled off a bunch of the roof and uh, uncovered this guy so this thing was really really dirty I mean like really dirty not in like a, a bad way dirty it's just like from sitting and being in all that rotting roof and all that wood and stuff so it was it was pretty nasty but I cleaned it up uh, pretty well I think it looks good the bowl is actually in really good shape. The only damage really to the bowl, I guess, is that small chip right there on the front of the bowl, but that's just a small chip. It doesn't affect anything. Um, overall, this toilet is in pretty good shape. I'm very happy with how well it cleaned up. I don't know where all that dust came from. Uh, the tank to bowl gasket does leak, um, mainly just because it's probably super old and all dried up. And there is the Kilgore logo. It's not very well printed, I guess, if that makes any sense, but you can see they also stamped it on the back of the tank, which looks really nice. There was a seat on here. It was not yellow. It was just one of those cheap MDF wooden seats that was all destroyed. So uh, the only thing that this toilet came with when I got it was the handle and the flush valve. The f it had a flapper as well, but it was all like, sh it was shrunken up from sitting out in the heat so much and it would not hold water. So I replaced the flapper and then I just put this fill valve in there cause it fills kind of fast. Here's the date. It is upside down, but it looks like it says April 22nd of 1978. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on and give y'all some flushes. So obviously the tank is full and here is a flush. As y'all can see, the water just comes right out the back. Uh, I'm actually gonna grab my tripod really quick that I have sitting over here. Go ahead and set this up. This might take me a second and I just dropped it. I really like the color of this toilet. I mean, you don't really see very many yellow toilets. So to be able to have two different versions of the Kilgore Apex in the yellow color is honestly really cool and I'm very happy that I have this guy here so even though I have a fast filling fill valve in there it still might take like a whole minute just because the tank is so big and the water line actually isn't even set all the way up to the water line in the tank and that is just because the flapper I have in here uses like all the water in the tank so the flush would just be way too long so here is another flush. Let me just make sure my screen's focused here. And come on. It's being difficult with me here. Here is a flush. This toilet actually has a really, really good flush in my opinion. Um, if, for those of y'all who don't know, obviously I usually like toilets that flush, um, like the flush stops right before it siphons, but even this one with, with the extra water um, flushing through it as it's siphoning adds onto the flush. So, And those bump outs there, I'm sure most of y'all know by now, but those are the siphon jet channels that lead to the siphon jet right there. So these are really, really interesting toilets in my opinion. Honestly, I'd kind of be curious to see where Kilgore would be today if they were still a business. My guess is obviously they wouldn't have anything like this. It would probably be just some like sort of copy of some other companies, but honestly, I don't know because Kilgore is always kind of stuck with their own designs. And I think that the, the double siphon jet toilets they made was really, really interesting because you don't see that very often in toilets. But here is another flush. I'm sure y'all have noticed by now, but every time I flush it, some dirt comes out of the rim. 
again that's probably because it was just sitting for a long time and it is a little bit dirty up in the rim so i apologize but um again i really do like this toilet i don't know how well the performance is gonna be as i haven't really tested any of my kilgore toilets believe it or not so maybe just for fun uh i'll flush a rag down let's see the tank is obviously not completely full because it's i hear it filling but i'm just gonna go ahead and hold down the handle and see if it'll flush this rag and it definitely struggled i think it's probably my fault i didn't let the tank fill all the way so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is let the tank fill all the way and then i'll give it one more chance because it didn't even try to siphon so actually i'm gonna go ahead and just take the lid off so i can let's see here i'm gonna take the lid off that way i can move this guy out of here of the refill tube or the overflow tube on the flush valve um this is the refill tube not this but hopefully this will help it fill up a little bit quicker and the tank does have a lot of hard water stains in there hopefully it won't be too hard to remove i think if i just got some muriatic acid that would help and the the threads on here are completely toast so this does not screw on it can easily just get pulled off just like that it's mostly sun damaged so the, the plastic you can see it's breaking apart all over my fingers but the tank is just about full now so i'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on actually you know what? i'm just gonna leave the lid there let's go ahead and flush it see if it can take down the rack And it is still struggling. Well, I'll have to save this for the test video, but um, yeah, overall decent toilet so far. Doesn't look like it's gonna perform well, but you never know. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave all y'all's comments down below, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.